here's my clearance section at Lowe's. I'll show you where it starts. There's a lot of rags out here today. Oh man. These guys are on clearance. Ooh, I need a cart. They've got some house plants out here, so looks like it's from this cart all the way down and around. So I think these are probably the most saddest plants I've ever bought on clearance. I've ever bought any that look quite like this. So I'm gonna rehab these guys. The first thing that I'm gonna do is give them some water. First things first, they're completely dry. As you can see, the soil has pulled back from the pot. And it does that in two for two reasons. One, the soil is extremely dry, and two, if the plant is root bound, it it will um, do this. So I found two extremely sad plants on the clearance rack. It's these two bottle rockets by Proven Winners, Lingularia. And I actually um, was looking at Lingularia for, if that's how you say it, um, for some shadier areas in my garden. And I think there's a another variety that is called like barbecue bbq something like that but anyway i'm gonna rehab these guys so before i start to do any sort of pruning on a plant like this unless it the foliage looks like this i'm not gonna prune because something like this could potentially once watered um wake up and look like this guy up here so i'm gonna water this in first give it 24 hours and then see what comes back up. So let's go ahead and get this guy watered in. Actually, I think I want to turn this to shower. Not vertical, nice. Shower. I'm just gonna water right close to soil level. So I went to the garage to get one of these trays. I'm actually going to let these plants soak a little longer in water. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have a feeling that they are severely root bound um, because when I watered, the water ran straight through. And one reason it does that because of this line here where the soil does not meet the pot side, that to me either means the plant is root bound and um, is holding on to that soil so tightly. And another reason is because when I watered it, typically that if it's not root bound, that soil will fill back in that gap and the soil did not fill in that gap. So in my mind, I'm gonna let these guys soak in water in this so that they can appropriately hydrate. So let's go ahead and stick them in this tray. So by doing this, I think that this will allow them to, um, what we call in the houseplant work, butt chug. It'll allow them to butt chug some water and actually like maintain the moisture. So like it, they'll be able to suck up this water and hold it within the soil because I'm letting them sit here for a little while.
Now I'm only going to let them sit like this for probably about an hour and then I'm going to come back and check on them. So it's been an hour and it's obvious which plant is more healthier than the other. Um, the one on the left is definitely probably going to lose a lot of its foliage. I do see where there is new growth coming out. So what I'm going to do, I am going to wait a little bit longer to to actually chop on this one. Anything that is crispy, crunchy, broken can go. That's obvious. But anything that still seems like it has a little bit of life in it, like something like this, I'm gonna give it some time. This, I'm gonna give it some time. But something that's crunchy like this, this is not going to rehydrate. These will possibly rehydrate. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of time. And then I can also see how the water level in here has gone down. I apologize for the shadowing. It's just a different time of the day now. But the water level is way down in here. Now the line between the soil and the uh, pot is still there. So that's how I know that this um, plant is likely root bound. Um, the soil that's in this pot, um, it's very, and I'm sure for this other one too, this one has actually expanded a lot more. Um, I really like this idea. This is what I use when I'm um, rehydrating house plants. Um, it's called butt chugging, which I already mentioned earlier, but you let them sit and draw up um, enough water to um, like saturate the soil. It's when I do it, it's never like overwatered. It's, there's never like um, when I take it out, there's never excessive drainage or anything like that. There's a lot of people who don't like this method of watering plants, but when you have um, fuzzy foliage type of plants, this is a good way to water them. So an example of that is like an African violet where the foliage is fuzzy, you don't want it to get wet, so you can water it from the bottom. Um, and that kind of helps keep that foliage healthy. But for these guys, this is probably the best way to water them until I can get them planted in ground. And I'm not gonna plant them in ground until I um, can get them properly hydrated consistently. So for, I'll probably let them sit for a week, keeping them watered, making sure that they are doing better. And then I'll go ahead and uh, plant them in. But So it's been about two hours now since I watered these two. And I just wanted to do another update before the end of the night and just kind of take a look at them. This one, who would look the worst, is looking actually even better. So we've got these leaves over here that are actually pulling up. And I, I wasn't gonna come back out again, but I just happened to look out the window and notice these guys looking much perkier. So I thought I'd come out and do um, another little update. So these sides aren't looking so good. I pruned off some um, of the most crunchiest and then I forgot these guys over here, but I'll grab those tomorrow. But yeah, so hopefully these guys will wake up. We'll see. check back in this time for real tomorrow. So it's the next morning here and just I mean just take a look the one on the left looks amazing compared to last night compared to when I first brought it home like just night and day. This is why I love buying clearance plants because you can resurrect something from the dead and 
put it in your garden, it can be a just a wonderful, wonderful plant for you. Shop clearance, you guys. And that's not to say, you know, not to buy anything that's not on clearance, but definitely check the clearance racks. Gardening gets expensive really, really quick. But it's like the most therapeutic like activity. It really is. So it's been two days since I purchased these plants on clearance. And just take a look at them. The one on the left, again, like looking so great. The one on the right, we knew that it was looking pretty well after the first hour it was looking great but the one on the right the blooms are actually um, looking better they're opening up um, the foliage is looking better you can tell that you know the plant was damaged by not being watered properly there are some leaves that are fading to yellow so as that happens I'll just go ahead and cut them off um, on this one over here, he has some leaves that are yellowing, leaves that are hanging down. I'm not gonna cut anything that's hanging down, only because it looks fine. It looks like a healthy leaf. Um, and also, it could be this plant's growth structure. So I'm gonna leave it up there, only cutting off anything that's yellow or damaged. But I have a surprise because I went back to Lowe's yesterday uh, for a project that I'm working on and I found something else that I want to share with you guys. I found a third one. <laughs> this one has a lot less foliage and it wasn't, it wasn't like, it didn't look anything like the other two. So, I mean, it's definitely a rehab just based off the way you know the lack of foliage and then the way that the foliage looks but yeah so now I have three to plant so I'm really excited to have three of them I know exactly where I want them to go now they're going in the back bed and they're gonna look amazing they'll be really really great they are gonna look so good this year so let me show you something that I found interesting though check out this bloom on this new one See that bloom structure? Then look at the blooms on this one. So they look a little different, right? I'm not familiar with, you know, bloom structure or anything like that. This is the photo. And the bloom structure here looks very much like the bloom structure on this new one this one back here I'm not I mean I'm sure it's the same plant obviously but it just looks like maybe as the bloom matures it kind of separates it doesn't stay as compact I'm not sure though but yeah I just found that interesting all right guys thank you so much for watching once I pot once I plant these guys in the landscape I'll um, do another little update video to show you guys how they're doing Make sure you subscribe, follow, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.